Hello everyone, uh, Jade here. I'm going to be doing a channel called Honest Jade where I'm going to give testers and reviews of certain products so you can see for yourself what they do, uh, if they work, etc. and how good they are. So today I'm going to be doing this brightening shampoo from Provoke, Touch of Silver, and I've also got the conditioner to go as well. Um, now as you can see, I've had my hair dyed. It's not ombre, it's balayage as they call it, but... Uh, there's a lot of ginger, there's a lot of funny tones going through it, as you can see. It is blonde. Uh, there's a lot of blonde in there, but we do have some brassy tones going through. Now, I had this dyed two weeks ago. Uh, the top is a very reddy brown, obviously. Uh, this light doesn't exactly help, but yeah, very reddy brown. And the ends are meant to be like that colour brown with the blonde going through as well. But what's happened is obviously it's mixed, it's gone ginger and a little bit, you know, red and not the colour I wanted, basically. So the hairdresser advised us to get some of this and today this is what I'm going to be doing. So I am just going to cut the video till I've, you know, wet my hair, dampened it, etc. And then you can watch us put it on, I'll, I'll pause it again and then you can see the end result. Uh, that's how we're going to do it, so I'll see you soon. And now I'm back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so as you can see, my hair's wet. It does look a totally different colour when it's wet, but it is basically blonde. I think you could probably see more ginger tones now, now that it's wet. So, um, I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible because apparently if you leave this on too long, it makes your hair go purple. And I definitely don't want purple hair. So I'm going to try and do it as quick as I can. I'm going to put it through my blonde, give it three, four minutes um, and wash it off like a normal shampoo and then follow it up with the, the conditioner. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to be really quick here. I'll try and talk as I'm doing so, uh, but I probably will struggle. So here we go. Well, <laughs> so the product is super, super dark really dark crazy dark quite scared now <laughs> so okay i'm just gonna literally put it through like i would shampoo and work up a bit of a, a lala on it and oh my god smells lovely smells beautiful I really like it. Sort of smells like the hairdressers actually. Okay, so just give it a bit of a rub in. I don't want to leave it too long, you know. And end up with purple locks. Let's do the other side. I mean knowing me, I'm probably gonna miss all the back here and have really bright platinum blonde hair with like a ginger back. It like really forms up to this. <laughs> now I don't know whether to go on to the brown because I don't really want it. I know it's not supposed to work but the hairdresser said it brightens darker colours and I don't really want a bright red shining through on the top of my head either. So I'm just gonna sort of stick to the blonde bits. Get it underneath. I'm really scared, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm really scared. As long as it doesn't go purple, I don't mind. If it doesn't work, okay, fair enough, but if my hair goes purple, oh dear. So. I mean, I don't really know how much to put on, to be honest. And, excuse me and my towel. <laughs> and I look a mess, but who cares? I mean, I think I've got enough on there. I think I have. And I, I think it's going through all my blonde. 
So, I think that'll do. <laughs> yeah. Just using the mirror in the background. It's a little bit easier than looking into my phone. A lot of my hair snapping off in my hands, and I don't know if that's because it's being bleached or because the shampoo is drying it out. I'll I'll soon find that out. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the coverage there. Just give my hands a bit of a wash. Now I'm not going to be drying it, etc., or, or washing it off, should I say, and then and then putting the conditioner on, on on film. I will just follow it up with the conditioner once once it's done. Uh, so I'm going to give this about two three minutes on my hair, wash it off like a normal shampoo. I'll probably put another shampoo just through my top, you know, to clean it, <laughs> um, and then I'll show you the results when it's wet, and then I'll dry it, and I'll show you once it's dry as well, and see if it actually works. Uh, so far. It smells nice. It doesn't feel the best in my hair. It's really dry, but it could just be because it's bleached. Um, but yeah, happy so far, as long as we don't get purple hair. <laughs> right, I shall see you soon. Right, I'm back. Um, I used this, as you saw before. I put it all through my blonde. Um, and I'll be honest, honest, that's what I said, <laughs> honest Jade, I'm not going to lie, I'm not doing any advertising for anyone or anything like that, uh, when I put this on, it immediately made my hair feel like straw, and the longer I left it on, the more straw like it was getting, I mean, I think I left it about three or four minutes after actually putting it on, applying it, and... As I was washing it off, because I panicked, pure panicked, washed it off, thinking that I can't leave this on my hair, it's going to snap off. So I washed it off, and as I was washing it, my hair literally was just coming away. Now, I do lose a lot of hair in the bath as it is. Um, but, I mean, that's just a little bit of it there. That's just a bit of it. it a lot came out in my hair. Um, I kept that to show you. So yeah, a lot of my hair fell out, it felt awful, um, I didn't like it, I didn't like it at all. So I washed it off and I thought, right, I'm going to have no hair left, it's going to snap off. So I used the conditioner with high, high hopes, it was actually going to do something for it. Now, again, honest, I put that conditioner on and it feels like silk it feels like silk. It went on just so sleek and, and smooth. And it says to leave it on about three minutes or so. Um, and if you've got really, really damaged hair, I'm popping out, um, to leave it on for 10 minutes. So I left that on for 10 minutes because at the end of the day, my hair is pretty dry. It's thick. It's frizzy naturally. I've just had it bleached. And then I put this bad boy on and it's really dry. So I've left it on for 10 minutes. And I'm not going to lie, it feels amazing. Now, it wouldn't have done if I didn't use the conditioner, I don't think, but it does feel really, really soft. So I don't know what colour it is, as you can see, it's soaking. So I'm going to go and dry it now, uh, come back and show you the results and see if you think it's lightened or if it hasn't. I mean, I'll be honest, I'll be thankful if it's not purple and that's about it right now. <laughs> and it stays on my head. But yeah, I'll be back very soon and I'll show you. And I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> well, to you, it'll just be like one second douche. She's back, but yeah, it's been a long time in between. Um, now, whew, whew. honest Jade, okay? And in all honesty, 
I am not seeing a massive difference at all. I mean, that bit there was really blonde before anyway, and it does look a little bit lighter, but I mean, I'm really not seeing much of a difference, to be honest. Now, I know my hair, I look like Hermione Granger. D. But uh, I, I'm obviously going to style it. I just thought if I started the video with my natural hair like that, I'll, I'll end it like that just to show you so you can really compare. I mean, this bit here is way standing out, really standing out. But just that bit there. So, I mean, have I done my whole hair just to find this one little bit of hair's lightened or, or what? It's strange. But, yeah, I'm not seeing a massive difference. And get it in the light. I mean, leave in the comments if you think it is different, it's lighter, but I'm not seeing it. I'm really not seeing it. I mean, possibly the, the gingery tone's more green, I want to say. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, I don't know what I think of it, to be honest. I feel like I've just wasted a lot of my time, uh, a lot of money, and the quality of my hair has also been damaged for nothing really, because I've watched some videos and, and the videos they've gone from like yellow, blonde to bright, bright white, and I'll be honest, that's what I was expecting, I was expecting just to be wowed, you know, but I'm really not. I just can't see a lot of difference. So what I'm going to do, um, I know I've babbled on a bit, you have to bear with us, it is my first ever video. Um, I just figured everyone these days is doing it, um, but you don't know if they're actually being honest uh, or if they're just advertising the product or whatever. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to do this. I've been planning on doing it since I got my hair done, reviewing this product. Um, and to be honest, I know I've just babbled on loads, um, nervously, etc. But I feel like I have got the points over. And you got to see the before and then the after as well. The only thing I didn't do was take a before picture and an after picture. <laughs> so I personally, uh, apart from going back through the video, I can't really compare. So maybe that's why I'm not seeing the difference. The light's changed in the room a bit, etc. So... I, you never know, maybe when I style it, it might look a lot blonder. But at the minute, I'm still seeing that ginger sort of strange, strange tone to it. It's not looking blonde or platinum or white. So, yeah, um, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Uh, I will be doing more videos. My next one will actually be on um, Proactive, the spot kit. Uh, I've got a huge, huge amount to say about that. So I might as well get it out and show the world what I think about it and um, let you see for yourself. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've liked it. Subscribe to us, thumbs up. Um, see you all later. Bye.